Oak. Hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumins Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? Boy, has this moon energy, it's really um, pushing a lot of people in like ways they didn't really expect. So what I've decided to do, because a lot of times uh, for people who either have been watching for a while, thank you, by the way, and for people that you might be coming newly onto this information to see what's really going on in your life, maybe it's very new to you. So I want to tell you something. You're going to be feeling events after they happen. The moon events, the changing of the seasons, it starts up before and you'll feel it a bit after. So I want to talk to you about a few things that are very important to know. And first of all, a reminder, you're here to be in love. But not only that, you're already in love. You already prepped yourself in a way so that you could do some of this. And while some people might say, this is not for the faint-hearted, you know, you really need a lot of stamina and strength for it, you're capable. Not only are you capable, you're equipped for some of this. So, but how does that happen? How does the physical life and all the other aspects of you kind of match up? How do you really deepen what it is that you're here for, what it is that you want? How do you get more youthful, vibrant? This is a weird energy because a lot of people are feeling bleh, meh. Feels like pasta without salt. It's just kind of bleh. Or worse. And where is this coming from? Well, once again, we are in another wave of the masculine energy where your masculine needs you. It doesn't matter if you are gay, lesbian, hetero. It's going to be an inside job at this point. And that supports the outer life, your actual physical human life. So for physical union, this is what I'm going to say to you. He needs you. What does it mean? He needs you. And you're kind of like, oh, yeah, like I've been giving and giving and giving and giving. These questions come up actually in my classes and in my sessions. What is he doing? Okay, he's, like I said before, he's been holding the fort, like holding, 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 holding until oh, you can finally, you know, let go of some things. If you were to see it on a larger scale, it's a little bit along the lines of structuring something where you need several parts of that structure. You need a good foundation. Some people's foundations are broken. I want to give you a little bit of an overview of the backstory. You're going along, you're going along, everything is great until, boom, there's the straw that broke the camel's back. And it's time to get here and get some healing done or finish some healing or finish your karma or whatever. Karma is finished. A lot of people don't want to hear that because they think they're going to have the best of both worlds. It really is not the best of both worlds. They think that they're going to have, you know, some things there and some things there. You do take the best. And this is why for physical union, he needs you. You need the best of the best of the best of the best of the best. The utter top cream of everything and this is not a needy thing. Even though you can feel needy on this journey, you can feel emotionally needy, you can feel bankrupt, you can feel emptied out, you can feel isolated, you can feel like a hermit, and you can feel like somehow this closure is closing off things that you never really expected. But you need to become interreliant, which is also why I say he needs you. Okay. So despite what some people say, where they would say, like, well, he wanted to apologize to you. 
or he's very remorseful for this or that, or he regrets this or that. He regrets these things happening. Okay, you both do. You're the same being. You can't just stand there and look at a mirror and say, aha, uh -huh, I knew you would regret this. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, because there's going to be things that you've regretted. And sometimes that is what the masculine does. The masculine cleans up some of the heavy duty, clean up on aisle three, cleans up some of the stuff that, you know, other people just don't want to. Busts it up, dismantles it, breaks it up. And some people don't like it because even in their discomfort, that's been a comfort zone for them. And those things are changing because you both leave the old paradigm. So it is actually time in this season for you to integrate what I'm calling phase one of the new light body. You have a brand new template. There is a new body. The new body doesn't want any of the junk from the past. It doesn't want relationship patterns. This is one of the other questions that came up. Is the feminine, the long-suffering feminine, yes, she's been suffering. But what do you do to stop the suffering? Well, some of the first things that happen is you need to have a completely different approach, okay? He doesn't need you to phone him. He doesn't need you on the internet. He doesn't need you to spy on him or anything like that, okay? He is an integral part of you. You are an integral part of him. And it doesn't matter if you're two men, two women, a man and a woman. What matters the most is your connection to each other, okay? So if I were to give you an example, and the example is this. You've been on a hike, okay? And you've got each other by some kind of a cord, okay? You have like that rope, right? How many people when you had little kids, did you keep your little kid attached like you attached like a little rope around their waist? Or you had one of those little kid backpacks with a little um, cord attached to it, okay? With you and your twin, those connections are there, but they're up here. So if you're looking at the physical life and like scratching your head and saying, well, what the heck is going on? It's time for you to focus on the work that I do, the work that I teach. And it really won't matter what you've done or learned up till now. That's a part of your foundation. But it's time for the next step. It's time for phase one of the new light body, learning her communication and emotions. This is a week where emotions will run high. Things may be upsetting. It may be upsetting to you that you feel that you've come so far only to find that you feel the way you do. Feeling as though you actually maybe don't care about this anymore. Too bad. You're in this to win this. And I'm here to encourage you because depression cannot linger in you. Apathy cannot linger in you. Those are not really your normal. You're getting to a new normal. The new normal is not for everyone to have explosions. The new normal is small little explosions and not a huge world war. That's the new normal for a little bit. So as much as we want to um, be upset, and it is upsetting to lose people, to miss people, why does it take a crisis for people to take action? So I'm going to throw down a challenge here. Start to take actions and be proactive about what it is you're really here for. Physically unifying yourself, that means keeping yourselves together because even people who live together, twin flames who live together still go through stuff. Okay, they're still living here. Cars break down, children break their arms, things happen. The house needs repairs. Unexpected bills come up. How do you think those people get through it? What? They run from each other? No, they actually don't run from each other. Twin flames stick together. 
They don't run when the tough gets going. But there is a completely different manner in how you manifest the things that you need. It will baffle your mind, okay, because it's not going to be the old ways. I keep telling everyone this is not your grandmama's ascension. This is not something where, you know, you can do this and this and this and be very static. This requires getting your light body, getting the new body template, because you have a new body template that you have to get up and running for the things that you need for your life and for the physical union that you want. Physical union is great. It's fun. How do you keep people outside from interfering with you? How do you keep children from feeling like they're in an interference? Because a lot of people, you know, they'll sort of focus on, you know, what's happening in the moment naturally, but they'll say things like, well, I want my kids, I don't want to abandon them. Or they'll say, gosh, these kids are really some kind of a irritant, uh, it, maybe you even regret it. Okay, those are normal emotions to have on the journey, believe it or not. And this is a process. But there is a new accountability. And that new accountability means being inter-reliant. Inter-reliant in what's above you as well as here at the physical level. So if you're busy looking at the internet and looking up and seeing upsetting things, you're doing it wrong. I'm just going to say it that way. A lot of people are doing it wrong. A lot of people are grounding themselves in a very outdated way that will not help you anymore. It won't help you next year. A lot of people are feeling emotions that they don't even know how to budge. A lot of people are feeling stuck or heart blocked. And there's a lot of misinformation. The information you need actually comes through your body. I teach how to get your new light body open so that the full her communication, not just telepathy, not just those small things you hear of like, I really regret this. Oh my goodness. So that it's not just that. Okay. It's not just that. So what if you have this cord, right? And one of you slips. What are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? Are you supposed to fall in the crevice along with your other half? Hell no. Uh-uh. Because you're not crazy. You know that it's time to start doing something different and get yourself up and running. Okay? You'll only be able to do that, the paradox is, by integrating the connection with each other that you need. So I have uh, I have a class coming up here. It is a two-part class that I'm calling Dimensional Breakthrough to help you with some of the sticky spots for this. The link is below. These are on a Sunday. This is my Sunday morning. It might be the afternoon in the UK. It's going to be... Um, I think in Australia, India, it's going to be sort of in the night time for you. But it's on a Sunday. Hopefully you can make it. I also do sessions. The important sessions right now. If you need to recapture your spirit because you're feeling blah, it, blah, it, meh. Flat out. Have a session with me. I will get it shifted. You'll feel the results within a very short time period. And I don't mean six month time period. I mean sometimes within hours or days. Are you struggling to manifest the things you need to manifest? Do you feel like something's stuck or broken? Have a causal body session. Now I am also having a live class, a live two day class in October. Are you in Chicago? If you're in the Chicago area, if you are in Milwaukee, Chicago, any of the surrounding suburbs, if you're close enough, if you're in Indiana, Iowa, you can fly in. It's really close to the airport. A flight to Chicago really is not that much money because we are a hub. 
So there are um, a lot of flights that come into Chicago that are very reasonable. One of the most reasonable airlines is Spirit Airlines. <coughs> <coughs> they, um, they will nickel and dime you, but um, they come in fairly frequently. This is a great class because you are going to learn and you're going to learn about the body. You're going to learn how to do some stuff on your own so that you have the high level experiences that you need to have so that you can have the physical life and fun that you want. Okay. I know that to a degree, there's a lot of people that look around and say, well, who is in union? You like to play that game, that, you know, spot the twin flame game. You sit somewhere, you sit at the park, and you try to figure out who's a twin flame and who isn't. You look on the internet, you try to see if someone's in union or not. You're in union, okay? And you're not crazy. Something inside you is telling you, I'm here to do this. I am a twin flame. Stop doubting with your head because of the garbage and the junk that needs to come out of you two, two of you. Don't look at all the other kids on the playground. A lot of us learned that when we were in school. Like, oh, what are the other kids doing? What are the other kids doing? Well, what are you doing? Okay. I have some people that you can't even tell by looking at them. That they are having some of the highest level experiences ever. And, you know, it might be their own private moments, but it's their truth, too. Part of your truth is that you were awakened so that you can do this. This is a privilege and an honor, and you're a pioneer, and you're here to do this. God would not have done that to play some cosmic joke on you. God is doing that so that some people get up and running. Some of those people I am teaching further because people will need people who know this, next year, okay? So come and join. This is an online webinar class. This is a live and in-person. This is actually live, live from Chicago, okay? Live from Chicago. We have a really good time at these. Um, that Every single one that I've done, it's been fun. People joke, people meet people, people have met, made friends where they have someone that they can talk to who gets that. That is the number one reason why I have live events and a meetup. My meetup last week was really good and I hope that you'll join some other ones. At the very least, it gives you a venue where there's people just like you who have gone through things. I have had people come... Uh, and reach out and sometimes they say, Patricia, thanks for your video because where I live, there's nobody. Where I live, I'd probably be considered crazy and locked up. But you're not crazy about your real life experiences or for the junk that is departing from you. That's not what makes you crazy. It might have made you crazy to begin with, but that's not what will drive you crazy. The length of time this takes has driven a lot of people like, oh, we lose our patience. But when it comes to who you are, who you really are, and helping you through the crises that come up or your health issues or chronic things, especially ancestral stuff, we're going to be talking about this, ancestral and childhood stuff, okay, that come up and what do you do about it, okay? How do you get your heart communication going so that you feel effective, you feel connected, you feel supported, and you feel loved? The whole reason you're doing this is not to be in a deeper level of love than ever before. Of course you were awakened to it. Don't turn your back on it now. You actually cannot. Love will keep finding you. If you are lost, love will find you. It always does. So join. Look for the links below. 
I am very grateful to everyone who has come to any of my events. It's been an honor to know you, and I hope that you'll come to more or tell people about it. If you can't make it, tell some people about it. If you would like to help with something like this, reach out to me and let me know. You can reach me at twinflamesmerge at gmail.com. So thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and keep the sunny side up. Bye.